Let's talk about the receiving game that Trevor Lawrence has. He loses Marvin Jones Jr. He plugs in Calvin Ridley. But the yep. player we're talking about today was their leading receiver from a season ago. That would be Christian Kirk. He's turned into quite the NFL receiver right now. 824 and a half is his number. Two straight seasons. He has hit that mark. What about this year? Does he have the targets to go around? Over! Come on! We gotta have faith in this hitting because I know what you're saying. Oh, well, Calvin Ridley's gonna be there. He's gonna be the main man. And Ingram and Zay Jones. Oh, yeah, and he's gonna take all that target share away. He is gonna siphon off some of the targets. He had 133 to Kirk uh, last year, but I still feel he's gonna be in at least the 110 to 120 range. And I know he had the very low average at the target number uh, 70 among all wide receivers in that category, but number 15 in total yak. And most importantly, number 20. 28 in route win rate. So a guy that was getting that separation away from the DBs, he's going to see better coverage advantages because of Calvin Ridley's presence. You mentioned as well, he got to account for Evan Ingram and Zay Jones. This summer's too low, man. Take advantage of the softball that the sports book at Bet MGM is tossing up and crush out of the park. I think he's going to get to 900. I just don't get it. You, you love the over on Christian Kirk. You love the over on Calvin Ridley hitting a thousand yeah. yards, but you don't like the over on, uh, on the Trevor passing Lawrence's touchdowns. touchdowns. Yeah, maybe on yardage, I would take the over. If I saw like a rushing yards prop, I'd probably take the over on that as well. But 26 and a half, a very well set line. Even if he does hit the under and gets 26, which I'm fearlessly forecasting, that's still a pretty damn good year. Jared, 824 and a half. You like the over or the under there? I mean, Lawrence had what 25 or 20, I think 25 last year. And yep. it was a fa It was one of his best years ever. So, or one of his best years of, of any quarterback in the league last year. So I think 26 and a half for his passing touchdowns prop is very fair. I think this number is fair too, frankly. I, I just, I don't know how much Calvin Ridley is going to eat into this target share. And that's why I think this is a tough number to bet to the over. Let's say after two or three weeks, if there's no drop off in the target share and there's no drop off in the amount of yards and, and yak, that Kirk is getting. I'd be interested in betting a live number in the 890 to 900 range if it goes up, but I don't know yet what this offense will look like with Ridley and how much of the target share he'll lead up. So I think this is a stay away for me.